ಸಭೆಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಗಮನಕ್ಕೆ ತರಬಹುದೆ ಈ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಟಾಪ್ ಕೂಡ ಬಂದು ಬನ್ನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅವ್ರು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅದು ಏನಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರಯುಕ್ತ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಅದನ್ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದು ಜೊತೆಯಾಗಿ ಕಡೆಯ ದಿನ ಇದೊಂದು ಪೇಪರ್ ಆದ್ರಿಂದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಅವರು ಇವ್ಯಾಲೇಷನ್ ಕೂಡ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ ಇದು ಫೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡೇಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅದರ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಪಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಈ ವಿಚಾರವನ್ನು ಗಮನಿಸ್ತಾ ಈ ದಿನ ನಾವು ಮೂರು ದಿನಗಳ ಕಾರ್ಯಾಗಾರವನ್ನು ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೀನರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಉದ್ಘಾಟನೆ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಾದ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಿ ಪಿ ರವಿ ಸರ್ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಇವ್ರನ್ನ ನಾವು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಅತಿ ಕಮ್ ಕಳೆದ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಬ್ಯುಸಿ ಇದ್ದರು ಸರ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಗಮನಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ತರ್ತಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೇನೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಕೂಡ ತಾವು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಡಿಪ್ಲೊಮೊ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ನ ಕಾಂಬಿನೇಷನ್ ಆದಾಗ ತಾವು ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಆಗಿದ್ವಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ತಮ್ಮ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲೇ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರು ಅವರು ನಿನ್ನೆ ವೈಭವ ಕೂಡ ಮುಗಿಸಿ ಅವರು ಹಾಸನ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಓ ಆಗಿ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಎ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ಹಾಸನ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಅದನ್ನು ತಮ್ಮ ಗೊಂದಲ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಈ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇರೋ ಹತ್ತು ಜನಗಳು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳಾಗಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಅದು ತಮ್ಮ ಗೊಂದಲ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಸಮಯ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನ ಬರೆಯುವತ್ತಿ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಪರಿಸರ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಒಂದಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಡಂಬಡಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೂಡ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಆಶೀರ್ವಸ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಪರಿಸರ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹಾಗೂ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದೇಗಳನ್ನ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಕುಲಪತಿಗಳು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಶರಣಪ್ಪ ವಿ ಹಸೆ ಸರ್ ಬರಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆ ಕಾರಣಾಂತರಗಳಿಂದ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಮಿತ್ರರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಯು ಹಾಗೂ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಏನು ಅಜೇಶ್ಯ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಉತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕದ ವಂದನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ವಹಿಸತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ನೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಕುಲಸಚಿವರಾದಂತಹ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಕೆ ಬಿ ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೆಸ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಅವರು ಈ ತರ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ವಿಭಾಗದಿಂದ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಬಹಳ ಸಂತೋಷವಾದ ವಿಚಾರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನೇನು ಸಹಕಾರ ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಂ ಒ ಯು ಅನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಸರ್ ಈ ತರ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಆ ದಿನ ಅದು ನಂದು ಈ ತರ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಏನ್ ಸಹಾಯ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಅವತ್ತು ಇರ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವತ್ತು ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವರು ಫೋನ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ನನಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೇಳೋದಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಿತ್ತು ಇವತ್ತು ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಆ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪರಿಸರ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದೇಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಆಸ್ ಎ
ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೀಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸಹಕಾರ ಬೇಕು ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅವರು ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಹಾಗೂ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮುಕ್ತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾದಂಥ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಜಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಅವರು ಬರಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅವ್ರು ಬರಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಿದ್ದರಿಂದ ಅವರ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಟೋಕನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಮೊಮೆಂಟೋವನ್ನು ಬೈರ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಣಕಾಸು ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳಾದಂತಹ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಿರಂಜನ್ ರಾಜ್ ಅವರು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದು ಆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕೆಲಸ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಈ ತಾನೇ ತೆರಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕದ ವಂದನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಈ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ನ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಬಂಧುಗಳಾದಂತಹ ಅಡ್ವೈಸರ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಏನಿದೆ ನಾವು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಕ್ಕದೇ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಅಥವಾ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ತಜ್ಞರುಗಳು ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಸರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿರ್ವಾಜಾಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಹೋಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅವರ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಶಿವರಾಜು ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಇನ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅವನ್ ಎ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಬೈಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ತಿರುಪತಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಟಿ ದಾಮೋದರ್ ಸರ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಸ್ ಡೇ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ನೈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ದ ಡೆಸರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ವೈವ and all the other advisory committee of this university of mysore and other uh, uh, university of uh, uh, jsc hcr and uh, uh, other institutions i will thank all the advisory committee members for uh, advising us and also helping us to conduct this three days workshop i also thank our uh, all the teaching staffs of the karnataka state open university and my colleagues for uh, attending this uh, uh in other function thank you one and all and also i thank all the uh, media persons and uh, and one more uh, association that's a parnyavarani uh, engineering and consultant private limited they also uh, helping us to conduct this three days workshop in this uh, case for your premises thank you very much sir for uh, being with us and uh, helping us i thank all the uh, our technical staffs like uh, uh mike and video and uh, media persons but also studio persons particularly sidegoda sir and other uh, associate members for being here and uh, helping us to record all this program after this program this recording will be available on our uh, ksu website and uh, they can other stakeholders also make use of that the training sessions i also thank all the uh, non teaching staff particularly our department of uh, teaching faculty and the non teaching uh, faculty uh, members of our uh, without which uh, i could not able to conduct this program more this kind of now viva dal busy idru kuda ee karyakrama ee tara nadibeku andaga avaru nam bennel baga nitkondu avaru nam ella kada sahakarisidare nam ella sahodhyogi mitrarge nanu hrudaya purvavagi dhanyavadagalanu arpisakke ishta padutene also i also thank for our uh, organizing secretary my colleague dr jayesh chandrashekar uh, for planning this uh, three days workshop for the students as an evaluation part and also to give the skill uh, supporting system for our uh, students thank you thank you and also our research scholars especially in the case for your research scholar also here uh, for uh, attending this workshop and i uh, thank all, all of them also for uh, being here and one more uh, the last but not least uh, the technical session members of the mpri and esteemed uh, institution uh, mahesh sir and other persons also there so i am very much so happy to thank you for being here uh, for uh, attending this program sir thank you one and all and the next uh, the session technical session will be there uh, please uh, join without uh, uh, missing that this technical session so
So I would like to introduce uh, another uh, dignitary uh, to this uh, workshop. Mahesh Yeti is a director of uh, research in Bangalore. So he is served as the chief uh, environmental officer for the uh, Karnataka uh, State Pollution Control Board. And over uh, 35 years of work uh, experience with the uh, uh, CPCB and also with our uh, state board, KSPCB, and the uh, uh, various aspects uh, like uh, impacting the industries and visiting and uh, uh, look after the uh, meeting of the standards of the, uh, the pollution of these uh, industries. So, and also, now currently, he is uh, having a more responsible uh, for uh, uh, taking over this uh, MOU, whatever we made. So, that is because of uh, So, now since uh, uh, last uh, 2024, so he has uh, uh, started as uh, working as a director of research uh, in MOU. So he is uh, looking after all the administrative works of this uh, entry. So with this aspect, uh, he is having uh, more experience in various uh, areas of uh, environmental science, including uh, all kinds of environmental pollution and also the mainly the impact studies so that already you have uh, learned, so those and also other areas like uh, climate change uh, and also uh, environmental social governance uh, reporting, how to ESG uh, reporting, all those aspects uh, uh, he has uh, worked and also whatever the theme uh, now we are going up for a greener future. So that is uh, through sustainable development. So that's such a wonderful experience he is having in the field of uh, sustainable development. So with this uh, uh, few uh, words, I uh, introduce uh, uh, Mr. Mahesh, uh, Director of Research, uh, to address uh, our students. Uh, uh, sir, I uh, request you to address uh, and, uh, our students, please sir. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Member countries, our country, 
ಈ ಒಂದು ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವೇಶನ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಲೆಜಿಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ತರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದೇ ಒಂದು ಮಹತ್ವವಾದಂತಹ ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ತಗೊಂಬಂದ್ರು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತಗೊಂಬಂದ್ರು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ದ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ದ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಜನರೇಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಂದ್ರು ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಎನಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಾಜರಿ ನೋ ದಿ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಅಮ್ರಾಲ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮದರ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಎನಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಡೆಮಾಲಿಷನ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ನೋ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫ್ಲಾಶ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಬೌ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಜಿಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೂಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಥಾಟ್ ಎನ್ವಾರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ is the tool to be used by the industries so that they will come to know year on year how much resources they are using how much resources they can conserve how much resources they can you know make it as a resource again so this is the concept of introduction of environment audit in the year 1992 nimge audit anta ide syllabus alli nodide adalli adarli mainly it talks about the resource audit there are various types of audit various kinds of audit actually but i don't want to confuse you uh, confuse you by uh, uh, you know mentioning all those uh, you know system audits because you must be knowing we have systems in place iso your nac ide alwa nimma you know organization is uh, nac uh, uh, accredited uh, institution likewise we have iso international organization for standardization what is the difference between is and iso anybody can tell us huh? indian standard okay so iso is not an indian standard okay fine see ee uh, ella member countries yaru idare adalla ella member countries idru ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಸೋರ್ಶಿಯಮೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡೈಸೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಓ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಗಿವ
management system standard. Top management is the head work environment work go, yawriti policy irbe ko, yawriti programs irbe ko, yawriti adanta objectives na define mod bhe ko to address environment uh, case ali, environment uh, uh, improvement. In case of quality, quality improvement, as can simple aga adha mod kodi, because let us not get into the details about those, uh, you know, clause and other things actually. Standards are there, set of standards, this set of standards, if I would like to adopt, then I should have a commitment from top management. Top management define the policy, then the programs, then objectives, targets, and then you keep on measuring, monitoring on a regular basis to know where do you stand. Okay, there is a deficit with regard to my own program. Then how to improve that? You will take some corrective action, then you will make improvement. You will align with the uh, whatever you are set in your policy and programs. That is the management system standard actually. So, then comes the uh, uh, audit mentioned in your syllabus actually. That is pertaining to resource audit actually. Resource audit on the uh, 1992 under the Environment Protection Act, they have introduced environment statement basically. Initially, they introduced audit, then they changed that to environment statement. Only there is a prescribed form is there, form number 5. Otherly, if you please go through, uh, you can uh, you know, visit the website of KSPCB or MOEF and you can go through the uh, form prescribed for submission of environment audit statement by the industries and organizations. Energy related resources, water related resources, what was your you know, uh, bill during the previous year, what is your bill during this year, current year, whether you have improved upon your uh, you know, uh, uh, resource spread. All these issues you will come to know actually. It is a comparative statement sort of thing. Then waste also. You may be generating electronic waste. E was there is to waste generate my view. These are all the types of electronic waste I generated, like computers, uh, then uh, you know the uh, printers or uh, mobile phones or whatever it may be. So there, there are you know uh, prescribed categories there, you have to identify those categories, whether you are generating this category of electronic waste or not and then accordingly you put the numbers there, okay. You have to basically do the inventory, inventory of how much resources you have generated as a waste actually, category wise. You are the list model, next year only, current year, last year list model, current year list model, inventory model, inventory it's a process actually. It is not just the numbers actually. Like uh, uh, financial audit you will go through the books alwa. Books account of the program financial audit annual action plan in Apa Kudya. Action plan lady twenty four, twenty five lay, nano university nali is to plantation martini. This the current test level, that is the plantation plantation. Water conservation, I will use some mechanism to ensure that water conservation will come down. And I will do some uh, rainwater harvesting structure within the campus to improve the groundwater level. These are all the interventions you propose. Okay, that is the action plan. Pertains to your environment uh, related uh, you know, aspects. That uh, action plan will be third party. You check the 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 third party. So, that is conflict of interest. If you answer the question, you will have a valuation. So, that is not a correct uh, or uh, a systematic process actually. So, third party who is competent enough to carry out this kind of 
task or empaneled for this kind of job. Say for example, in case of finance, it is chartered accountant. But there, not there. Book of accounts, all well, not there. Program. So other layer deficiencies is there. That identify money. He will uh, put his remarks and he will uh, ask to address those things. Correct question. So what is it? And that there is no other knowledge. There, all resources, raw materials, sir, both. Nima, you know, process, sir, both. Process minimization is not there. See, there are two uh, you know, aspects in uh, waste or uh, resource audit. One is your input, then your process, then your output. Your input, it is nothing but your energy, your uh, uh, resources. Then some process happens here, and some output comes out of that in terms of product, byproduct, or in terms of emissions or effluents or waste, semi-solid or solid. Types of waste it will be generated during the process actually. So your objective is to ensure that whatever resources you are using, you are optimizing in the unit operation, in that process actually. It will not only improve your operation but also it will improve your productivity level. At the same time, it will reduce the generation of effluents, emissions, and the waste actually. That is your objective. How on the minimization process na binder it can do, you will audit that actually. Where all I can reduce the chemicals or where all I can replace those hazardous chemicals. Where all I can, you know, uh, reuse these chemicals in other process within the industry. Key So you will adopt series of steps in that process actually. And then you will either avoid Reduce or control that unit operational. Avoid certain type of hazardous chemicals you have to avoid because that is harmful to the environment. So you are in the audit you will give a finding that these are all the chemicals to be avoided because it is going to have adverse effect on the environment. And then certain chemicals you may recommend for replacement because they are less harmful and environmentally beneficial and at the same time you have to if it is inevitable for you to avoid or reduce then you have to go for control that means you want to generate some ways but there is a possibility or there is a, a requirement or a mandated requirement to properly control that have a proper air pollution control equipment have a effluent treatment plant in case of Influence. Okay, so these are all the controls you have to bring in place. So what you are auditing? You are auditing entire, you know, raw material usage inputs, process, then your outputs. All put together, you will fit in the format prescribed under the Environment Protection Act, that is form number five, wherein it talks about the energy conservation related issues. It talks about the water conservation related issues. It talks about the program for, you know, improving the. That is, last year, earlier that the production capacity, the whole thing, that is, the time that is, the cost that is, that comparison you have to make. And then, energy consumption, how much that is, the time that is, you need to make that. For that, you need to go through the documents actually, records and documents. You have to verify. You have to call out the. Numbers from your own, uh, you know, company records, then you will be able to come out with a proper, uh, you know, uh, numbers to put it in the environment state. So what is key here is the monitoring and measurement. Monitoring and measurement is very important. Water usage is still there, but unless you install water meter. You will not be able to know what is your consumption. Scientifically, assess smart by Kondre, you know, energy meter, water meter, uh, wherever measurements are required, you have to have proper scientific, uh, you know, instruments to uh, uh, capture the numbers. So, monitoring and measurement is very, very important thing, even to know that how much waste you are generated. Okay, I may be generating hazardous waste. Extends, but what are the categories I am generating? 
okay category 1 2 3 4 category say then the quantity then i should measure and put those numbers instead of you know uh, putting some uh, you know numbers based on my own assessment i have to measure and put those numbers so then it will give a realistic value then every you know uh, annual audit you have to you know refer the previous audit and see the performance of the current year based on your resources based on your process based on your outputs this is the whole structure of audit illi enadru prashne illidya nim audit alli waste audit alli yavadaru company visit madidira bosha id four semester ide anusutala four semester ओके यार कंपनी वसीट मे अदरली नोड़ो अरे रिसोर्स रेकॉर्डस रिसोर्स ऐन प्रक्यूर्मार पर् यूनिट आफ प्रोडक्शन हौ मच वाटर इज यूज पर् यूनिट आफ प्रोडक्शन हौ मच एनर्जी इज यूज पर् यूनिट आफ प्रोडक्शन हौ मच बै प्रोडक्ट आर् जनरेटेड पर् यूनिट आफ प्रोडक्शन हौ मच यू नो द वेस्ट आर् जनरेटेड अंड वाट आर दिफरेंट टाइप आफ वेस्ट जनरेटेड So this will give an idea. All the kind of question per unit that you go convert, that only you will be able to common man language. Generally, you can get that idea. Okay, now this to one one thalege is to generate that idea. You can get that idea. One thirty five liters per capita. If you go more than that, you can get that. That is the standard actually. C P H O man level that you can get one thirty five liters per capita. But one thirty five liters use that idea. Now that now you know that idea. Do you get that idea? सो नार्मली बिल बंद आगे ना करते हैं तो मंथली बढ़ते हैं एक्चुअली मंथली बढ़ते हैं अमले अदरली नमली नंबर ऑफ पर्सन सीएस जना इतना है ये लाल दिन सुनो अली मने ले लिंग दुआ आज ये लाल नोट कौन तो जब कैलकुलेट मार बैक करते हैं अब अगर हमके एक्चुअल यूसेज पर कैपिटल सी देते हैं अलवा � so these are all some of the important uh, tips one should use while carrying out the audit but uh, what i would suggest is before you go for audit you refer one or two company audit reports refer those reports go through that report form number 5 and then no yene ni de adarali matte yav rithi madidare submission madidare see finally objective na helidnala year on year improvement maadbeku environment friendly अंदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेस सिर्फ बोलो इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेनरेशन ऑफ वेस्ट सिर्फ बोलो इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर प्रोडक्टिव प्रोडक्शन लिमिट सिर्फ बोलो ईयर ऑन ईयर इम्प्रूवमेंट करना का देन एंड एक यू नो अमाउंट यू स्पेंड फॉर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट यू नो इश्यूज सी दिया ना अतो दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इ Next year, strictly speaking, I should reduce that. If my production levels are same, I should reduce that. I should aim for that actually. For that, I should draw programs. How to improve? How to uh, improve? How to you know reduce uh, my cost by making improvement in my industry in X, Y, Z section and uh, uh, division or whatever it may be. So these are all some of the you know issues you have to look into while uh, carrying out of audit and yavaglu aste you yavde audit madbekadru one desk audit anta madkobeku desk review anta helthivi yavag madbekadru no you kaliyabeku yav company ge hogtira company nature of products enide raw materials enu use madta idare matte avarge source of water ellida baruthe ground water athwa कवरी वाटर कवरी सप्लाई इधर लिखियो मतलब ये स्क्वाटेडी ऑफ वाटर इधर लाना उस पर ग्यादर मार्ट बाकी इनफॉरमेशन ग्यादर मार्ट ये वाले वो डेस्क्रिप्टिव मार्ट कौन तो देन यू शुड हैव सम आइडिया अबाउट दैट कंपनी ये वो जगह सड़न जगह लाल मार्ट लिखा कर दिला फर्स्ट इधर लाल प्रिपरेटरी वर्क is there any spillage happening in that process? All those things have to be captured and you have to make a note of it and then you have to come back, you have to prepare a report uh, 
uh, in a prescribed format actually. So this is this is about environment audit. Uh, you, uh, it is a requirement. It is a requirement under Environment Production Act. Every company is required to submit environment statement every year before 30th of September. That means last year's statement I should submit before 30th of September. So this idea behind uh, introducing environment statement is to ensure that environmental condition in the company will be improved by carrying out systematic audit uh, within the company by the company personnel, preferably by the company personnel because they are the people knowing more about the processes, more about the raw materials, more about the you know outputs actually, how much they are generating, where they are disposing, where they are storing, all these things, all that information even though you are a third party you have to depend on them. But you have to properly verify those numbers before you put it into you know, environmental statement uh, format actually. So interaction with the company is very, very important. Uh, you know, uh, document verification before you go for audit is very, very important. You should have a thorough understanding of the processes and the company and then uh, there are resources used, unit operations, all these things form a basis for you to go for a field visit and conduct the audit and then finally you have to prepare a very comprehensive report. Uh, along with that you have to prepare uh, the forum, uh, you know, environment statement in the present form also. Questions here? Questions here? You have to sub question. We are procuring and what is its quality also very important actually. That is one thing. So the reason is right now we are using reason. scientific tool available like your EAA, Environment Impact Assessment. It is a tool to uh, you know, identify the impacts actually. Similarly, Environment Audit is a tool for identifying the gaps and making improvements, drawing program for improvement actually. Alwa, see, system audit, ISO 14000, 9000, they are all voluntary standards. Nobody ask you to, you know, implement it because it is an international standard. Because if I am, uh, you know, uh, exporting my product to Europe or to other Western countries, they insist for me whether you have ISO 9000 or ISO 14000 certified or not. Because of that, I have to go for that. Because others. You know, my buyer is, you know, insisting I have to go for ISO 9000-14000 or it's voluntary. For example, mine is the Environmental Management Policy Research Institute. So, it is, though it is a government institute, uh, our management wanted this uh, institute to be certified for ISO 9000, <coughs> Occupational Health Safety Management System and also we have a laboratory. Environmental laboratory. So that again, it is NABL, National Accreditation Board for Laboratories. You know, NABL certification. That is a requirement for laboratories. It is certified for all these, you know, uh, 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 management systems. 9000, 14000, uh, sorry, 14000 we don't have. 9000, Occupational Health Safety and NABL. Laboratory certified for NABL. So it is voluntary. I want to adopt because I want to see some improvement in my uh, you know institute year on year, and I want others to be recognized. Me as a ISO 9000 certified or ISO OSHA certified or NABL certified this thing. So that is my requirement, but uh, it need not be also. I need not go for that also. I can work without that also. But as I told, for some companies, if they want to export to some countries, they insist actually. Customer, uh, it is based on the customer requirement actually. So because of that I go. Otherwise, there are uh, thousands of companies not certified for 9000, not for OSHAs or 14000 also. So it is voluntary means if on my own I can go for these system standards or Somebody is insisting me 
for that I have to uh, I'm uh, bound to go for those candidates. Otherwise, uh, they will not accept my products. Actually, this is one uh, uh, way of uh, addressing whether it's voluntary or it is a mandatory thing. Actually, but when it comes to audit, as mentioned in the Environment Protection Act. Uh, 1986, uh, which was introduced in 1992, this is not a system standard, it is a resource standard. That is to see whether you are improving, uh, this is to see for the regulator whether the company is improving year on year or not. For that, they have introduced environment statement and audit. Okay, that is a regulatory requirement. So that means it is a mandatory for the companies. They have to conduct audit and they have to put their numbers in the environment statement in the present form. That is a requirement. That is mandatory. <coughs> Any other questions? Yeah. The ISO 14,000 related to the product uh, ISO 9000. Yeah, yeah. He definitely he clearly differentiated uh, what is uh, ISO 9000. It is a uh, uh, more, more over it is a uh, related to a product quality. So you buy the product like ISI mark. So like that in environmental standards, uh, ISO 9000 is a product quality. So anyone, uh, the company sitting here, uh, they can buy the uh, product. Sorry, sorry. Like, yeah, ISO, sorry. ISO is not a product standard. Yeah. Okay. Please, I'll clarify again. It is a system standard. System standard. And your plan is there. Your uh, audio system is there, and uh, this projector is there, and your helmet is there. They are all yes. ISI. Yes. ISI yes. Yes. standard. Yes. What is the difference? These are all product standards. Who does that? IS does that. Every country has got a body who will look after these things. You will find the helmets in market. IS, ISI marked uh, helmet, non uh, ISI marked helmet. You will go for ASI mark because to say you are head. He said, uh, and also uh, you shown the way uh, to go how uh, environmental auditing should be there, and also uh, the qualification and the how to enter into the uh, system uh, for uh, auditing. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for your inputs, and also you have uh, given the uh, uh, right hand uh, some of the aspects of. Uh, uh, EMS uh, that, that is uh, ISO 14000. See, there are there are different uh, series of uh, standards. They are based on the requirement of the students. So, uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, thank uh, we uh, the Department of uh, Environmental Science KSOU. Uh, thank uh, uh, Mahesh Shetty, uh, Director of Research, Empri, uh, for uh, enlightening uh, the environmental audit. What he uh, overall. So uh, now onwards, uh, uh, we can carry out uh, other uh, sessions uh, related to the each uh, uh, different uh, types of audits and uh, their steps. Uh, and uh, on behalf of uh, our uh, department, I uh, uh, request uh, Dr. Harsha to uh, give a uh, moment of uh, for uh, our member. And also, I uh, uh, request our student uh, uh, to give a plan uh, for the uh, 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 green reactor. And also, I would like to uh, request uh, uh, Mahesh uh, uh, to uh, take a token of uh, respect uh, from the department uh, and uh, KSO. Uh, uh, now, now I invited uh, uh, Mr. Arjun. So, just uh, in brief, uh, I will explain uh, about the organization. For our need, engineers and consultants, private limited. So, this uh, organization. is a totally environmental management and the 
स्टॉप सोल्यूशन कंपनी फॉर ऑल एनवेटल नीड्स so this makes it easy for our uh, customers by offering uh, comprehensive integrated uh, solutions tailor made for a specific industry or application so and also the other supply of uh, uh, fragmented uh, range of uh, requirement uh, for our services alone what uh, uh, the paryavarni uh, it is uh, providing uh, so it is uh, from a single source with uh, uh, undivided uh, uh, responsibility so this is a little uh, about uh, the organization so now uh, also i would like to uh, introduce uh, the speaker arjun r is the uh, managing uh, director of uh, paryavarni and uh, he did uh, uh he is a uh, mtech uh, from uh, bit s bits uh, pilai uh, that uh, you might have uh, bits pilani that's a well known uh, uh, institute and uh, his uh, he did his uh, uh, graduate uh, ba uh, in uh, our uh, neighboring uh, 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 institute uh, jss uh, and uh, science and technology university of jss earlier uh, uh we you so and also his uh, work experience uh, uh, he is uh, currently managing director uh, from uh, 2017 to uh, till date uh, and also they have done a very good uh, uh, work uh, related to this uh, consultancy uh, projects uh, in the field of uh, various environmental uh, uh, science and also with uh, technology and also the, they worked uh, uh, he worked in uh, uh, jsw steel limited as a, a junior manager uh, earlier so there also he had a very good lot of experience uh, uh, related to the operations and maintenance of uh, water and waste water uh, uh, treatment plants so with this uh, brief uh, uh, his uh, uh, background so i request uh, uh, mr arjun uh to take over the session and uh, address the uh, gathering uh, for uh, inputs for our students whatever the uh, uh, topic uh, we have allotted to him uh, environment and water radic engineering okay thank you sir please go over to you, sir thank you sir uh good afternoon to all so already uh, morning uh, sir said already uh, about the environment audit so i will be covering uh, little about the environment audit and i will be covering most about the water audit so uh, like sir already said uh, environment and water audit is a very very important part for an organization to understand their performance related to the environmental aspects it may be water air waste so all these aspects are covered under the environment audit and in that water audit is also one of the major subject which uh, specializes on the water management within an organization it may be uh, the water audit can be conducted even for any industry or a commercial building or even residential apartments so it helps to uh, understand about the work, uh, the current water systems in the uh, organization and uh, and it has lot of benefits which i will be covering in the Uh, slides. So, uh, environment audit. Uh, what is environment audit? That is the uh, first question. Uh, it's a, a systematic. It's a systematic examination of the interaction between the organization and the surroundings. so uh, and because of the business of or the organization operations so like uh, for example you have an industry so which has a continuous interaction with its surroundings so whether it is positive or negative or what are its uh, 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 like what are its effects on the environment so all these things are studied under environment audit uh, and uh, it can be carried out for entire organization or even for specific process also 
So it is not that uh, the environment audit has to be conducted for the entire organization only. In, in, in a lot of big industries, even one process is also considered to carry out the audit. For an, uh, uh, the environment audit or water audit is considered for one process also. It depends on the size of the organization and type of the organization also. So what? So why do we do the environment audit first? Uh, what is the requirement? Uh, and what happens if you do not do the environment audit? That is very important questions to uh, ask. So the objectives of the environment audit is to as a, the first objective is to assess the compliance with respect to the environmental regulations. So that is the first uh, thing. Uh, as already sir said in the morning, there are different environmental laws that are applicable to an organization. So what is the level of compliance of that industry or organization? With respect to those, all those, all those laws, maybe Water Act, Air Act, uh, Environment Act, other waste management rules. So there are different acts and rules against which. What is the level of compliance we assess in the environmental audit? That is the first thing. And facilitating management control of environmental practice. So uh, from this we can uh, even facilitate the uh, the, the environmental, uh, environmental practices uh, controlled by the management uh, of the organization. Uh, and uh, and it helps to promote the good environment management. Uh, under the environment management, if we divide it into water, air, and waste, so each uh, like each type of the uh, like water, air, or waste has to be having a own management system to make it better for the organization to perform in the environment sector. Like for example, to reduce the water uh, uh, to reduce the water pollution or to or uh, to reuse the water. So for all these things, the environment audit can help and maintaining credibility with the public. So uh, assume that you, an organization gets the environment audit done by a reputed organization. So that gives a good impact on the public. So it can even have financial, uh, uh, assuming that the, uh, that the environment audit uh, results are positive. So it gives a good impression to the people and even to its shareholders also, which again helps the company financially. So that is one aspect. And it also helps to raise the awareness within the, the staff of the company or the employees of the company. So when you conduct a comprehensive uh, environment audit and, and its report states the all aspects with respect to the environment like air, water and waste. So by studying that, the, the staff or employees of the organization will be able to understand what is the company's performance with respect to the environment, uh, whether they are doing good or whether they are doing, doing average or very bad. So all these things can be understood by the employees and even it helps to create awareness among them. So what individually they have to do in their own role to, to better the environment or the environment management within the company. So that is one thing. And uh, exploring improvement opportunities. Uh, when we conduct the environment audit, one uh, major advantage is there will be a very uh, experienced team that will be coming to conduct the audit. So they would have conducted audit in different types of sectors. Now, for example, uh, steel, uh, cement, automobile, textile, so uh, like uh, uh, pulp and paper, uh, uh, food and beverages. So all these sectors, environmental challenges or environmental uh, systems are different in nature. But there can be some good practices which can be implemented from one place to another. So that will be able to do when we do the environment audit, we can explore what are the opportunities for improvement that are available in that organization with respect to the maybe with respect to new technology it might be or with respect to the better management practices so all these things we can explore when we conduct an environment audit and establishing the performance baseline for developing the environment management system that is uh, under is 40001 or any other standards so uh, we can create a once we connect the environment audit it is easy for us to prepare a baseline for example uh, assuming the uh, water consumption. So uh, we can fix the water the specific water consumption to some level and based on that we can plan to improve and that can be even incorporated into the environment management system. So these are the uh, objectives with which generally an environmental audit is conducted in any organization. So there are different types of environmental audit that are conducted uh, uh, and in that we can categorize into three parts. Uh, one is compliance audit or liability audit like as I said under the, uh, the, the environment related rule, acts, rules or notifications or so what are the 
compliance requirements for an industry, whether they are complying with that to 100% or to what extent that can be assessed with the compliance audit, that is the first part of the audit. And uh, please note that even these audits can be done together or individually also. It depends on the organization's requirement because there is no uh, uh, set of clear rules or standards by any organization about the environment audit. So it is left to the industry's interest and need to conduct the audit. And it can be done together or for any or any one of the these things also. So compliance audit which helps to assess the compliance with legal obligations. And second is the management audit. That is, it, uh, it uh, uh, verifies the environment strategy meets its stated objectives uh, and here under the environment management system of ISO 14001, uh, this audit can be, uh, the, uh, that can be considered as a baseline and based on this, this, this audit can be conducted. And functional audit. So functional audit is done for specific areas. It may be waste, it may be water, energy, uh, air. So this is uh, with respect to the specific areas. So it is, it's an organization decision. Uh, to conduct the audit in any way they want, but the, but there are some clear uh, uh, like uh, uh, requirements that have to be fulfilled when we are doing the audit under these things. So, uh, like uh, as already said, uh, what are the uh, advantages of environment audit? Are, uh, it determines how well the process systems and pollution control systems are performing and identify operations of poor performance. So. Assume that uh, in an industry uh, there are some uh, air pollution control devices which are installed. So those performances will be assessed by a third party auditor in during the environment audit. And generally these environment audits are not done internally. So it is generally done by an external agency uh, with respect to the organization. Uh, there are many agencies that do the environment audit. So generally it is done by them. So when they come and assess it, so they will be able to identify what are the lackings or what are the uh, opportunities for improvement in the existing control, the pollution control systems. So like as I said, for example, for an air pollution control, there may be a scrubber uh, which may be performing very uh, less compared to the requirement or maybe the standards. So that can be assessed by an environment auditor and that inputs can be given to the organization for the improvement. Uh, and even uh, and even in some cases, there are very good cost savings also associated with the environment audit. For example, uh, assume that there is a waste audit conducted for an industry. So in a lot of places, what happens is people consider some materials as waste and, and they would be throwing it. But that waste can be a uh, resource or a raw material for some other type of industry. So with the experience and the knowledge, so that uh, like that, uh, the waste can be converted into a raw material which can be even sold at some price. So that will help in the cost savings for the organization. So that is one thing. And in some places, even those waste can be internally also used. So like, there are audits which are resulted in, uh, uh, which are given the result of making the waste to be used internally in the industry. Maybe in steel industries, this is the best example uh, where. Uh, uh, in steel industry, it generates a lot of waste, so that waste, in, uh, if, if it can be processed in a better way and uh, reused even within the inter internal industry as a raw material, it's a very good cost saving for them. And even I can give one more example, uh, you all know the sand that we use for the construction of the buildings, right? So generally we all like to use the natural sand or river sand. So that's a, a better uh, raw material that we consider as for the house construction. But uh, there is one type of slag that is generated in the steel industry. Uh, so it is called as a, a blast furnace slag. So that slag can be even used as, used as a replacement for the natural sand. So that with that, the one major advantage is uh, we will be saving the natural uh, material uh, from the extraction because you know once we extract the sand from the river bed, the river bed goes a lot of changes. It affects the marine uh, or aquatic life system. So that is also, that damage to that aquatic system is prevented, that is one thing. And the second thing is that, uh, so that, uh, 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 like when the slag is, uh, uh, actually the slag is considered as a waste in a lot of industries. So once the slag is converted as a sand, uh, the steel industries can, can even sell it as a replacement for the natural sand. And even, now there are a lot of buildings in uh, all over India that is constructed with the, uh, the slag sand. So that is one of the one of the best examples that we can consider when we do the water audit. Uh, we can convert that waste into a useful uh, uh, raw material. And uh, increase awareness about the environmental requirements, policies. 
So the entire team will understand what are the environmental requirements, what is the target that has to be achieved in each environmental processes. So all this awareness can be uh, increased with the, by conducting the environment audit. Because when we are doing an environment audit, so uh, one is the process owner and, and even all the people who are working as a team for, for an environment process management or environment system management, so they all will be involved and they all understand to what extent the audit is conducted, what are the expectations uh, with respect to the environment audit. So all this is understood by the entire team, so that helps to achieve better results. Uh, and also helps to understand technical capabilities and attitude of the environmental uh, uh, organization in a company. Uh, so uh, it, it helps to understand uh, technically whether they have a better uh, technologies or whether they are having some old technologies in use whether that can be improved into the new technology. So all these assessments will be done in the environment audit. As I said, the experienced auditors, they will be seeing a lot of uh, other places where the best practices in environment are being carried out. So that can be incorporated in the, uh, the audit organization. Uh, and it creates an up-to-date environment database. So this is a very important uh, advantage that we get from the environment audit. So we get the very good database about the environment, uh, the, manage, the environment processes. For example, if you have a treatment plant, so in the environment audit, all the treatment plant capacities, it may be characteristics, the quality, all these things are considered are noted down, so which acts as a baseline for the future improvements with that data. So it will be very much helpful for the internal team to improve upon the, uh, the environment process uh, of the organization. Uh, then there may be some things that uh, an, an organization may not be knowing to itself, like uh, the surpluses and hidden liabilities that are there with respect to the uh, compliance. For example, uh, water audit is actually compulsory under the uh, CGW, that is Central Groundwater Authority uh, notification. So whichever uh, industry which draws more than 100 kg of groundwater, they are actually compelled to do water audit every once in two years. But a lot of industries do not know about it. A lot of organizations do not know about it. So like this, there are there may be some hidden liabilities that an organization may not be knowing. So that will be uh, unraveled during the audit. Uh, and and it ensures the independent, ver independent verification. Like as I said, generally the audit is conducted by a third party, so who will not be biased with respect to the uh, performance of the environment system. So they will be doing the audit in an open uh, manner, uh, which helps to uh, identify the lapses or the good practices that are being followed. Generally when audit is done by internally, so there are chances that uh, there may be some things that uh, like, like one department person may not like to inform another department person when they are doing the internal audit. So, but in, when we are doing for the third party audit, the environment audit, so that will not be there. So all the, uh, there may be some uncertainties or some improvement opportunities can be explored during the audit. So that, so that ensures the independent verification and identifies matters needing attention. Uh, in companies generally what happens is, uh, the, the, the top management may not be knowing what are the actual liabilities that they have to fulfill. Uh, because either because of the lack of awareness or uh, maybe the, uh, the middle level management may not be informing to the uh, management. So when we do an environment audit, so all these things are identified in the report and presented to the top management. So that helps the top management to understand what are the uh, more liabilities that are there for the organization and that helps them to fulfill. Because if we, uh, even in environment audit, the suggestions are also given in such a way that how to come over that uh, liability. So all these things can be explored in the audit. So these are the general advantages that comes with the uh, carrying out environmental audit in an organization. Uh, and again, as I said, uh, it helps to improve the public image. So a good and uh, positive, uh, positive result in the environment audit can really help the uh, public image uh, and especially the surroundings because in lot of places there will be some complaints about the uh, the industry's performance or industry's uh, emissions or water discharges. So when, the, when an audit is conducted and, and it gives a uh, very uh, clear understanding about the process and its compliance, so that helps for the surrounding uh, uh, local people or even the, uh, the, the other officials also to understand the level of compliance that they have. Uh, one more advantage is information transfer. Generally in an organization when people change, the information may not be transferred from 
uh, one person to another that, that can generally happen. So when we have an audit report of every two years or three years once, so that helps for the next uh, set of people who are coming into the operations to understand what was the, the data three years before, so what is the current data, so what are the improvements or what are the laggings that we have. So all this helps for the information transfer from uh, one team to another. So these are the advantages that comes with environment audit. So I will be now covering uh, in detail about the water audit. So what is water audit, uh, how it is conducted, uh, uh, what are the, and why water audit has to be conducted. Again, advantages, all these things will be covered. So again, uh, water audit is a, a systematic process of objectively obtaining the water balance uh, by measuring the flow of water from site of water withdrawal. It may be a river, it may be an, uh, a uh, lake or it may be groundwater uh, or treatment through the water distribution system. The water when it is distributed inside the uh, industry uh, for various purposes, so all these are covered in the water audit and into areas where it is used and finally discharged. So in a water audit, we start from the water withdrawal level and uh, when, it, when it comes to the industry, the, the withdrawal may happen within the industry or some, in some cases it can happen outside the industry. So uh, from that uh, source, uh, then it comes to the industry, so how it is distributed and after the distribution how it is used, whether it is being treated or not treated or, uh, uh, and what are the improvements that can be done in the existing treatment. So all these things are covered in the water audit as a scope. So uh, why water audit has to be conducted? So uh, that is a very important question. Uh, uh, one is, as I said, under the CTWA uh, regulation, a water audit has to be conducted by the organizations. It may be any organization again, uh, it may be a commercial complex, it may be an industry. So though all those who draw water more than 100 kL, 100 uh, meter cube or 100 kLD uh, from the groundwater has to uh, go with water audit every two years once. That is a legal requirement, so it has to be fulfilled. And